guys, my name is Jamie Lee and I'm from Kelly Ray Photography on Etsy and I want to show you guys how to do another tutorial. So I'm going to be using this background here. This is my Happy Easter Cube template background and this is in the PNG file. So I've actually got two files for every download for the cube template. One will be a JPEG and one will be a PNG. I have already done a tutorial on the JPEG one and that'll be in your links as well. And this one is going to be my PNG um, tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to use it on Photoshop. So this PNG file works with layers. So it means that this has got a um, transparent layer in the back of it designed for photo um, for photographers who already use a cube. So an actual cube. So I'm going to show you a photo of one of the cubes that I set up really quickly. Um, so this is the cube that I set up a couple of years ago. It's very, very, very simple. Some photographers go to an amazing extent putting their cubes together and it's absolutely amazing. I did not have the time this year to do that one. So what I did was I went to Ikea. I got two cube storage shelves and they were the big nine square storage shelves and I popped them together back to back and I did not put in any of the inserts. So you can see up the top here, there's still some of the holes and I just edited that out in Photoshop. Um, and then I put the backing on it and it looked amazing. Um, but it was really easy for me. We're in the middle of moving and I just did not have the space or the time to be creating a big full cube. So anyway, um, back to the tutorial. Um, as I said, this tutorial is for photographers who do have a cube. So um, as long as you've got a cube and you've already taken your photos inside the cube, um, let's get to it and I can show you exactly how to use it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this example. So it's already been color balanced. It'll look great in the tutorial, <laughs> a lot better than my Santa one that I was using. Okay. So I've got my background here and this is the PNG file and you do not have to use this in Photoshop. If you've got another editing software that works with layers that you are comfortable with that accepts PNG, then by all means, go ahead and use that one. For this tutorial, I'll be using Photoshop. Okay, so I've got my background with my transparent layer and I've got the image that I want to work with. Alrighty, so what I want you to do is I want you to come over here on the left hand side and grab the rectangular marquee tool for me. And we're going just to left click on that one or right click, whatever, whatever computer, whatever your computer uses, but mine's left click. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we can be a little bit generous with this sizing when we make a selection because our background is so large. So we're going to select it. We do not need to make sure that we get right in the white corners. We can select it a little bit outside of that. We'll just resize it in the next step. So I want you to just make sure that your entire cube is selected. Once you have that, we're going to come up to our move tool. We're going to select our move tool. It's on the left hand side, right up the top of the toolbar there. So we're going to select the move tool. And once we have that, we can click on our image and we can move that around. Look how cool that is. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to move and drag it up to the top. We're just going to stay clicked and we're just going to move and drag. And then we're just going to drop. So when I mean, what I mean by drop is just let go, let go of your mouse and drop it exactly where it is in the background. All right. So we've got our two layers. We've got our background layer and we've got our image layer. So on my, on my device, on my Photoshop, on the computer that I'm using, they're, um, they're layered as layer one and layer two. Okay. So we can select our layer two and we can move him around. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of center him there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to drag and drop him underneath layer one. So what we want to do is we're going to move him behind our background layer. I know that sounds a little bit confusing. So all we're going to do is we're going to click and hold layer two. And we're going to drag right down until we're below layer one. And that's going to pop that cube photo, your own cube photo with your own subject underneath the background layer in our transparent version, in our transparent layer right there. So what we're going to do now is because that is not the perfect size. What we're going to do now 
is we're going to hit Control T. So when you hit Control T, this is the transform section. So we can enlarge it, resize it um, to make it fit exactly how we want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drag the corners up a little bit. So what I want is I'm trying to look for this section, this divide here, this line where the top and the side meet. I want it to kind of hit that, that corner right there. So I want to make sure that that happens as much as I can on all four sides. Alrighty. That's going to give the illusion that this white, this white border right here on the background is actually the large cube. Looks great. Okie dokie. Sometimes it won't be perfect. And that's okay. You don't stress too much. Alrighty. I'm actually quite happy with that. That looks really cute. Actually, I'm very happy with that. Okie dokie. So once you've got it in place and you're happy with that outcome, we're going to select enter, or you can come up here and click this tick up in the top toolbar. So once you're happy with that, we've got our two layers perfectly as we want them. So what we want to do now is we want to flatten our image so it's just one, one layer. Okay, so we're going to go right up to the top toolbar. We're going to find File, Edit, Image, and Layer. So we're going to select Layer. We're going to come all the way down to the bottom here, and we're going to find Flatten Image. We're going to select Flatten Image. And what this does is it merges the two layers. So you do not have a background and a foreground. You just have the one image. Now, once you have that now, it's finished. You can go and you can save this. You can save it to your mobile phone um, if you've got the, the app on your mobile phone um, or on your iPad or on your laptop or your computer device. Um, you can print it out. You can share it on social media. You can do whatever you want with it. It is now done. It's a flattened version of the image and ready to go. So I really hope that I will stop babbling. <laughs> um,